All right, one box, three products, all the way from Japan. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another video. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. So we got somewhat of a laid back video today. I received a package from Critical Each Japan. I was a winner in his 8,000 subscriber uh, contest and he sent me the winnings along with some extra products in the box as well. So uh, the endorsement is going to Eat Japan today. Three products, one video, starting off with the Kalpis candy. Now, yes, if you say that fast, Kalpis, yeah, Kelpis, but C-A-L-P-I-S. Uh, from everything I've seen uh, from Paul, as well as read online, I believe this is a yogurt beverage. Uh, they also have a soda version and a melon version. It is a beverage. It is like a, uh, I don't know, kind of looks like a watered down, like maybe 1% milk beverage. There is a review where Paul reviewed the Kelpis soda, and I'm pretty sure he enjoyed it. I have to go back and check, but uh, we are going to try the Kelpis candy today. That's going to be one of the products. Let me get the next one. All right, so next is from a brand I believe is Koakea, and they have come out with this new line of chips called Strong, where they are uh, saying you're going to get a very strong hit of flavor with these. So this is the spare rib flavor of Strong. I have another flavor of Strong as well, which is the sour cream and onion. Let's check out that bag. Yeah, so there's the Koakea Strong Sour Cream and Onion, and I believe uh, Paul has mentioned that it is tough to get sour cream and onion potato chips in Japan. So, little side note, little sidebar, little Japanese uh, snack trivia. So which one are we going to try first? I'm going to go with the candy first, because I believe if these are going to deliver on the flavor, I'd like to clean the palate uh, with the candy first, and then hit it up with all this flavor in the potato chips. So, let's check out the Kelpis candy. All right, so they are in individual little packaging right there. So again, Kelpis, you know what it sounds like. All right, so we're going to open this up. Definitely a hard candy right there. I don't know if anything is inside. Wish me luck. Kelpis candy. Yogurt drink, soda drink, non-carbonated, I believe. Here we go. All right, okay. So definitely a hard candy. It has a pleasant flavor. It is slightly reminding me of lemonade. Now it's not tart like lemonade, but something in my brain noggin is reminding me of lemonade. It's sweet, it has somewhat of a citrus flavor, and uh, I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, so it's going to take a while for me to uh, finish this. I am not going to do a time lapse of you watching me eat a hard candy. But give me a couple minutes and we will return and I will give you my breakdown of the Kelpis candy. But early returns, I'm enjoying it. All right, so I finished the Kalpis candy, and I will tell you this, I enjoyed it. It's not something that I think I would rush out to get again. It's not going to replace like a Skittles or even as a hard candy would go like a uh, lifesaver. Um, but it is pleasant. Again, the uh, flavor is kind of messing with my mind because I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. It is sweet, and at the end, it was a little bit creamy. I don't know if that makes sense, uh, it being a hard candy or not, or maybe, again, my mind's playing tricks on me ghetto boys that uh, I'm thinking because it's a yogurt based drink that I'm thinking it should be creamy but a little sweet flavor a little bit of a citrus uh, taste and uh, I enjoyed it so let's move on to one of the flavors of the strong potato chips we are going to do the spare ribs I'm doing this one first because I've had my fair share of sour cream and onion potato chips in my life so let's give this one a shot these always, these Japanese bags always open up. Whoa, there's a lot of air in there. Check it out. Wow. Now I get it. You know, most of the bags of potato chips you're going to get, even in the United States, uh, you're going to be paying for a lot of air. But, man, they could have made it. Whoa. Strong. Oh, man. That has a scent. Damn. 
wow. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to say this. I don't believe I've ever said this before with a product. After first smell, this legitimately smells like a rack of ribs on a barbecue or in a smoker. It has that scent, like almost identical. I kid you not. So check this out up close and personal right there. Yep. So, all right, here we go. Spare rib, uh, strong potato chips. Wish me luck. These are two words, la jet. Wow. You actually get a flavor of like the meat, of actual uh, spare rib meat. That is blowing my mind right now. All right, so I reviewed the Kelby double cheese pizza potato chips that actually had cheese drizzled on the outside of the chip. Uh, Paul loves those chips and he spoke highly of them. He sent me a bag and I concurred. They were amazing. It seems that all of these chips that I've gotten from Japan come correct. It's not like some of these chips in the US where you're like, okay, yes, another flavor. Okay, they did their thing. These are well made, has a nice crunch to it, and the flavor is bar none. Bar none. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so not too salty, a perfect taste of spare rib, and a lot of flavor. Like it hits you in the face with flavor. So I am happy that they put strong and bold up on the bag and they came correct. So I have high hopes for the sour cream and onion. So here we go sour cream and onion. Strong. Yeah, these bags just so well made. Again, paying for a lot of air. Check it out. Sour cream and onion style. All right, a little more of a subdued scent on that one. I mean, it is sour cream and onion, but check it out. All right, wish me luck. Wow. Mm-hmm. Double decker. Wow. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Yeah. Yeah. So again, a very well made chip. They are the chips with the ridges on it. So there's a little more density to it, a lot more crunch. The flavor again just explodes with a great sour cream and onion flavor. Now I will say no matter how good these are, and these are a very good sour cream and onion potato chip, those rib chips, spare rib chips, barbecue spare rib chips, those things, amazing. So I'm gonna rate all three of these products, but I'm pretty sure you know what's going to be rated number one. But, um. These chips are so good. Mmm, so good. All right, so we are going to do a rapid fire rating on all three of these. One, two, three in a row. All of them on my same scale of one to 100. One meaning don't even waste your money. And 100 being the promised land of... Uh, I'm going to give the Kelpis candy a rating of... 81. I'm going to give it an 81. It's good. It's unique. Again, I don't know what flavor I have to be tasting, so I can only go from what I am tasting. Don't know if that makes sense. So uh, yeah, it's an 81. So second, I'm going to give the sour cream and onion strong potato chips a rating of 91. It probably is one of my favorite uh, sour cream and onion chips I have ever tasted. It's a 91. Something in my mind tells me I enjoy the Ruffles sour cream and onion. I haven't had them in a while, but the OG uh, sour cream and onion from Ruffles I think is my number one. But that is up there, easily top three sour cream and onion chips I've ever tried. So last but not least, the barbecue spare rib strong potato chips. I'm not even gonna bow my head for this. I already know, I don't need to think about it. I'm gonna give these bad boys a rating of 95. 
These are going to get a 95. Something in my head tells me that the uh, Ruffles All Dressed is higher than 95. I have to go back and look because I do know that the Ruffles All Dressed is one of my all-time favorite chips ever. These are close. If these are ranked higher, then we have a new champion, but I don't believe so. I think I gave the all dress maybe a 96 or 97. I'd have to go back and check. So uh, there you go. Another video in the books. Please like, please comment, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. Social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, impromptu unboxing video. Something a little different, something a little low key. And again, a special shout out to Paul over at Critical Eats Japan. I am sure you are aware of Paul. If this is your first time checking out my channel, his link will be down below. Give him a shout out, tell him the endorsement sent you. And uh, yeah, there you go. I'm going to go inside and book my trip to Japan now. Paul, clean out the spare room. I'm coming. Eventually. All right, so uh, bonus footage. This is the other product that Paul sent me in the package. This is some curry ramen. Now, I've never tried curry, so I'm really excited to try this. But at the same time, this is also a fiery uh, curry ramen. Look for that, hopefully, down the road. I got to get uh, my bearings about me. But uh, yeah, so again, thank you, Paul. And uh, that's it.